In order to play the game, you have to have a role. Mm -hmm. And then that's what's so delightful about eventually ending up in satsang, is that the role you were playing falls away, and then the true role, as you could call it, emerges, and it's much more interesting. Yes. Well, you seem very happy. <laughs> you seem very joyful. And in your it's nice to be home. <laughs> home, finally, <laughs> yeah, wherever really you are. <laughs> it was a long trek, but <laughs> does anything throw you off? Yeah, still there's contractions uh, and stuff. And then you. But it's it's. I must say, I'm about two years into this, uh -huh. and uh, it's pretty quiet. <laughs> Not many contractions. Well, you know, there's some, but they. So you feel you've awakened. I mean, if you want to call yeah, it Yeah, it's funny about Advaita is that there's some quibbling in the language. Yeah. So just as a spokesperson for nothing, Great. I'd have to adjust the language. See, there's okay. no one left who could claim uh -huh. awakening. See, awakening is just awakening to the fact that there's no one, no separate being, you mm -hmm. see. So then if somebody goes around saying, I'm enlightened, I'm enlightened, mm -hmm. that's actually a, um, what is it called, a misrepresentation, because there's no one, there's no I, that could, could claim it. Right. I've heard other yeah, people it's say kinda that. Tricky. But, but you're still a separate being from me. Well, because I have a form. Right. So if we dropped both. Dropped our form. We. There'd still be a separation, wouldn't you there? You think so? Well, your unique energy pattern not as a presence in the mm. universe would be distinct from this. Mm. Do you think so? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just these things that I, I don't create know. I the mean, difference. that's my uh, problem with Advaita is that... Mm. No, there would be a distinct flavor. Right. It's like, a you know, you could get a, a bouquet of flowers mm -hmm. and you'd have a freesia and a rose and a whatever. So right. there's a, a flavor of fragrance would be more probably okay. accurate. Well, all right. I mean, let's say what you're saying is true. If I want to get to this place, mm -hmm. not that there's an eye <laughs> that can want to get there, if I use that kind of language, right? Yeah. But if whatever's here would like to drop this, okay. what is it that I need to do? What there's only one thing that needs to be dropped, okay. this notion that you're not here. Uh-huh. The notion that I'm not here. Right. Uh, I don't, well, I am, he I know that I'm here. Okay. Okay. So uh, there's But there's some doubt that you're not awake, right? Well, I don't even like, I don't know what that means, awake. Okay. I mean, I just use it as like, kind of to identify yeah. where you said, but I don't mm. know what it means to, to, to say that not mm -hmm. awake, if okay. I'm really going to be honest. So mm -hmm. I'm here. Okay. I'm as awake as I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So is there anything I'm missing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is this it? <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm this is it. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, I was talking to my friend David earlier, and yeah. all I really am is a car mechanic. Uh -huh. You see? So right now, there's just, this is it. Yeah. But it, at some level, the brain desires more than this. Mm. You know? So if you could have a magic wand... How would you? Well, I'd like be. to be more relaxed, mm. more uh, less thinking about mm. this camera, this or yeah. whatever I'm thinking about to do later in the day. Or mm. so if I didn't have that, yeah, then I could be more here. Okay, so just for a moment, just set that aside. Okay. Yeah, there you are. You're already here. <laughs> so once everything. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am. Yeah. Just you, looking at you. 